Hey everybody, welcome to Smart Speaker Training. I'm going to give you, during the next 30 minutes, I am going to be giving you the keys to start marketing on smart speakers. And if you don't know what that is, and if you don't know what that looks like, that's what this webinar is about, so you're in the right place. So you're in the right place if you are a small business owner that is interested in content marketing. If you don't know what content marketing is, it means you put out a whole bunch of really great content out there, and then the customers come to you because they know, like, and trust you. That is the power of content marketing, and marketing on smart speakers is the way to do it. It is the latest, greatest, most amazing thing that you can do for your small business. So make sure you stay tuned for today's training on that. I will tell you everything you need to know. I will do a demo. I have my good friends here, Alexa, in three different versions. We're going to go over that. This webinar is going to be amazing. So I'm just going to reach over here. Okay, so here is how we're going to go. This is how it's going to go down today. I need, I am going to say hello and interact with you. You guys are going to save your questions for the end. And when I get done giving my presentation, then I will answer all of your smart speaker marketing questions because my guess is there's quite a few. But what you need to know right now is that smart speaker marketing is the most potent kind of digital marketing I have ever seen come along. So let me put it this way. You remember when like Instagram became hot or YouTube or Facebook and there was those few early adopters that hopped right on that bandwagon and now we're all sitting back being like, boy, I wish I was that kind of visionary. I wish I would have grabbed that and I wish I would have done YouTube videos. I'd be a freaking millionaire by now, right? Smart speaker marketing is that opportunity. It's time for you to be a 49er and attack this gold rush because that is literally what it is. But you'll find out more about that in this webinar. I'm not just telling you that because I'm full of BS and I'm a digital marketer trying to sell you on something. I'm literally trying to help you, okay? So buckle up. We're in for a hot ride, but let me see who's here today. Uh, Michigan, Meg, everyone should do it. I started mine last week. Meg started hers last week. This is how easy smart speaker marketing is. Let me tell you a little secret about Meg. Okay, Meg, hopefully you don't mind me spreading your stuff around, okay? <laughs> your biz. Um, Meg has an eight-week-old and two other children. Now, I don't know about you guys. I have done that in my life, and it's cray-cray, right? At eight weeks, there's a lot going on. This is how easy it is for Meg to market to her potential clients. Meg is a social media marketer with Mockup Media. She's amazing. And it's so easy for her to market to her potential clients, and she does it with an eight-week-old baby. Yeah, she started this with that. That's how easy it is. That's how easy One Click Lindsay can also make it for you. So um, Megan is in the house. Okay, so I'm going to dive into the training. I'm glad you guys could make it. Thank you for coming. I'm going to dive into the training. I'll get to your questions at the end, so please hold on to them. But for right now, Let's find out about smart speaker marketing. So I'm going to share my screen. I know this is what you guys want to do on a Saturday afternoon, but I swear to you, it is going to be worth it. Do you want to know why it's going to be worth it? Because I can guarantee freaking tea that your competitors are not doing it. So yeah, that's the kind of marketing that you want to be doing. You want to, you want to move left when they're going right. You want to go up when they're going down right now. I can guarantee you, your competitors aren't doing this. And so you're sitting at this marketing webinar, and you are going to be that much further ahead come Christmas time. And you're wondering, why is she bringing up Christmas? I will show you in a slide. So you'll want to hold on for that, okay? So first, for those who do not know me, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is One Click Lindsay. I have been a digital marketer for the last 12 years, web developer, digital marketer, custom programmer, 12 years. It's awesome. I love what I do. But um, along the way, I decided to write a best-selling book called The Click Technique. You guys can order it on Amazon. It's been a bestseller for the last two months. This book is all about building a strong digital marketing foundation. So that's where I always start. 
you guys, if you are just following me now, you will find out that I don't mess around. I don't sit here and tell you there is the magic key for making a million dollars online. I give it to you straight, and you have to have a strong digital marketing foundation. You need to do content, and you have to K for keep going, which is the K in the click technique. So that is what the book details. I also run the Traffic and Leads podcast for the last X amount of years. So if you want to hear me interview the latest most amazing professionals in the digital marketing sphere, make sure you tune into the Traffic and Leads podcast. It's pretty awesome. Um, and Smart Speaker Hub, which I will get into a little bit later in this webinar, okay? Um, let me tell you a little bit more about me. Um, I am a mother of three beautiful little children, and my husband, Ian, who's the producer of everything that I do as well, he is my main programmer. We own a digital marketing company called TrafficAndLeads.com, where we manage thousands and thousands of dollars a month in Facebook ad spend, SEO, pay-per-click, um, uh, landing pages, email marketing, all those things that encompass uh, digital marketing to help drive more traffic and leads for your small business. That's what we do. If you have those needs, please look me up at trafficandleads.com. Um, so we do that. We manage a million dollar business and we have our three kids, which is why I included Splash Mountain in the slide, because that's pretty much what my life looks like on a daily basis. All right. Fair enough. I have a two-year-old. He just turned to a little Sawyer. So that is what we do. And we have this lifestyle that is amazing. And content marketing is to thank for that lifestyle. Um, we are able to go to the beach. We have a boat. We uh, like, you know, all the stuff that you hear, like it can be real and it can be real for you. And the power is through content marketing. Speaking of content marketing, every single morning on my Facebook page, you can just go to Facebook, go to One Click Lindsay, 8 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I am on there for about 15 minutes giving you a daily like boost on how on keep going with your digital marketing because digital marketing can be so difficult and you have your highs and your lows and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and just I am out there to connect with other small business owners every single morning you should join me it's a lot of fun so let's who cares about one click Lindsay right but now you know that I know what I'm talking about I wrote a book I have a podcast been doing this for 12 years who cares? Let's go into smart speaker marketing because literally this is where it's at. So here are the stats, folks. 39 million people in the U.S. use some type of smart speaker. I read a stat just yesterday. I did not update my slides that said one in five homes in the United States now have a smart speaker. So that might be an Alexa device or a Google Home Pod, or, or I guess that Apple's is the Home Pod, Google is the Google Home, and Facebook just recently announced theirs, which is called the Portal. So there is a reason why all of these tech giants are hopping on the smart speaker train, because everyone is getting a smart speaker. What do they look like? I have three versions, because my husband is a tech addict. He needs help. Um, so this is the Google Alexa. This is the Google, or I'm sorry, this is the Amazon Alexa, the Amazon Dot, just a smaller version, and this is the Amazon View, I believe, right? And essentially, you could just bark orders at them. Hey, Alexa, it's dinner time. So I say that to one Alexa in the kitchen, and all of the Alexas in the house ring the dinner bell, turn on the dinner music, and tell the kids to scoot on down for dinner. Um, I will say, Alexa, add this to the grocery list. So then all of a sudden when the hubs is at the grocery store, he has an updated grocery list. Hey, Alexa, turn on and off the lights. Alexa can do a lot of really amazing things. And with the way the technology is going, I would say within two or three years from now, she's going to be doing a lot more of amazing things because people are quickly adopting this technology. And you guys know how quickly tech moves. 71% um, are listening to more audio since getting a smart speaker. That's what I'm talking about. When we're talking about more people listening to audio, I'm talking about when they're listening to audio, they'll be listening to your voice about your company, your tips, tricks, and I need another T, tips, tricks, and something that you're giving them every single day. I will get into that. Um, faster to 50 million than an iPhone. I love this stat. That's why I put it on my slides. Essentially, if you look at 
the adoption rate of TV, the adoption rate of uh, smartphones or iPhones, the Alexa or the smart speakers made it to 50 million much faster than even the iPhone. Essentially, it took TV 14 years to catch on as quickly as Alexa did in two years. Voice is literally the future. And here is something to remember, folks, is that many of you have reservations about smart speakers. I get that and I understand it. But just because you hate them or you think they're listening to you or you have one and it's unplugged or you have one and you haven't figured it out, whatever. There are one in five households out there and a vast majority like them, use them, have them figured out, and they are your potential customer. Let's even talk about the disposable income of someone who owns one of these smart speaker devices. Now, the dot comes in at about 40 bucks, which is not expensive at all. OK, but if you're looking at the other devices, you're looking at a few hundred dollars. That means that these folks have a disposable income, which is good for you and your small business because you want to be marketing to people who have a disposable income as of today. So here's the thing. When we talk about an audio and I'm going to talk about what a flash briefing is and I'm going to do a demo. So even if you don't understand what I'm about to say, stay tuned as of today, well, I said today, I need to change the slide as of last week when I originally did this webinar, there was only 5,790 flash briefings. So what does that mean? What does that mean for you? That means one in five households have a smart speaker device. 71% of them are listening to more audio with their smart speaker device, and they only have 5,790 pieces of audio to actually listen to. So what does that mean for you? That means that you need to hop on this bandwagon and you need to hop on it right now because no one else is. And all of these people who have a smart speaker and have downloaded the Alexa app are looking for content. So heck, when they're looking for content, why don't you have them look for your content and, or I guess, find your content and start listening to it, okay? I see opportunity. I can't stress this enough. This is the... I wish I would have been on Instagram. I wish I would have been a YouTuber. I wish I would have had that idea. I can't believe how many, how much traffic and leads XYZ is getting because they actually did this new technology. They stuck with it. And now they have all the customers they could ever dream of. This is the opportunity. I've never said that before. I did not say that when uh, Twitter came out with Periscope. And there's been lots of tech that has come out. Snapchat, all this crap. Never have I seen anything where I am literally looking at you in the eyes, telling you, you need to get on this today. And I will tell you why today is important. So what is a flash briefing? One click, Lindsay, what the freak are you talking about right now? A flash briefing provides a quick overview of news and other content, such as comedy, interviews, and lists. So I will give you a demo to uh, better explain that after the slide. So essentially... As consumers are getting ready, so I let me just share my experience over the last year. Oh, in fact, let me turn this on. So over the last year, every single morning, brushing the teeth, doing the hair, taking a shower, I want audio to listen to, right? Because all those things, I can't use my hands and I can't be sitting at my computer. So I'm putting the makeup on and I do this. I say, Alexa. Play the news. Alexa, play the news. Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Barbara Klein. Alexa, President Trump calls. Next. In weather. Currently, in Alexa, weather 60 next. In CNN News. Alexa, stop. I turned her off now. So you can see that she plays all of these brands' news briefings. Now, mine was supposed to be on there, but it wasn't. Mine is called the Digital Marketing Morsel. So that was supposed to be the first one, but I already listened to it today, so she's not going to repeat it. Sorry about that. But essentially, I come on and I say, this is One Click Lindsay, and here is your digital marketing morsel. And then she plays a one-minute tip 
that I've uploaded, and then she will go on to NPR, and then she will go on to CNN, and she will go on to the New York Times podcast. Whatever I've outlined in the Alexa app, she will play. And I have a couple of other business coaches and some workout coaches that are also part of my Alexa flash briefing. And it's just audio that is heard every single day. And it's really, really powerful. So a flash briefing, as I've said in this slide, a flash briefing becomes a part of a customer's daily routine as they get ready for work or school or wind down in their day. So that was my personal experience with Alexa. But my guess is every household has a different story when it comes to Alexa. But my point is, you want to be there when someone says, hey, Alexa, play the news, okay? So all of these major brands, you guys already heard some of the brands that are already on here, BBC, Bloomberg, CNN, all of these guys have a flash briefing, and there's a few smaller brands that have a flash briefing, including you, right? So just so you guys get an idea of what it is, when someone gets a new Alexa, Part of the instructions are, hey, download the Alexa app. Here it is. I just am showing you guys kind of what it looks like. You can open up the Alexa app and you go to uh, flash briefings and you can search for different things. You can search out for health and wellness. You can search for digital marketing news. You can do whatever you want and you can just hit enable and then they will suddenly be part of your Alexa flash briefing. You can organize them and you can do all of that through the Alexa app. And if you guys upload an Alexa flash briefing here to uh, Amazon, then it'll be available here. Now, I'm only really talking in this webinar today about the Alexa flash briefing, but you have to also remember there's the Google Home, there's the iPod or the iPhone one or the Apple one, I should say, and there's also the Facebook one. So I'm using Alexa, but all of them have something very similar to this. For those of you who are into podcasting or like podcasting or also have a podcast. This is just a no-brainer for you. You must get an Alexa flash briefing because it is quicker than a podcast, it is more potent than a podcast, and it's a very similar type of content marketing as podcasting is. So I highly, highly recommend it. Here's the thing with podcasting is I've been podcasting for many, many years, but here's the deal is when someone hears a podcast, they're able to like go to the podcast app on the iPhone and search for different episodes. They don't have to subscribe to your podcast. They might listen to one episode and forget about you. The hurdle number one is for podcasting is you have to get them to listen. The next hurdle is you have to get them to subscribe. And the third hurdle is you have to get them to stay. That's not so for the Alexa flash briefings. Before they can even hear it, they have to enable it. And because and so like all of that is gone. They are now enabled and the pain of disconnect, the pain of going into their Alexa app and unsubscribing from you is pretty high. Like they're going to sit through a minute of your tips and learn to love you, right? Even if I mean Yours is going to be high quality, so you really don't need to uh, worry so much about that. But in general, this is so much better than podcasting. Not only that, most Alexa briefings, you can record in two hours a month and then upload it and forget it. But we're going to talk about that in one second. So here's mine. Um, I wish I could give it a demo. Sorry about that. But mine is called the Digital Marketing Morsel. So when you open up the Alexa Flash Briefing, uh, or sorry, the Alexa app on your phone, you can search for Traffic and Leads, Digital Marketing Morsel, or Digital Marketing, and mine will pop up. As Dwight says here so nicely, inbound marketing is hard. False. I nurture leads in my sleep. I think Dwight literally has an Alexa flash briefing going for his company because that is what is happening is that you are uploading at the first of the month or however much you want to batch batch six months I don't care and set it and forget it and literally as people are working throughout their day they will listen to her they want to know what she has to say so for those that don't have an Alexa and you're wondering what the competition is specifically on Alexa flash briefings you guys can head out to the Amazon website you can hit the drop down, um, hit the drop down right there. I've highlighted it there and select Alexa skills. And then you can type in whatever you want. You can type in health and wellness. You can type in uh, working out. You can type in construction, real estate, Portland, whatever. And you can see who else has Alexa flash briefings. Now, the downside is 
You can look, but you can't hear it unless you have heard. That's the only way to hear the skills. So if you guys head over to smartspeakerwebinar.com, I uploaded about seven or eight of my Alexa flash briefings right there on the home page and embedded it there on the site. So you guys can go through and you can get a rough idea of what an Alexa smart speaker uh, marketing looks like, okay? Uh, what an Alexa flash briefing looks like. You can just go and listen to a couple of my episodes and envision what it looks like. Now, for those who do have an Alexa, of course you're going to go subscribe to the Digital Marketing Morsel because you're going to get so many tips. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you the formula for what that looks like. The mini, I call it the mini marketing formula because podcasting will usually take 20, 30, 40 minutes. You have to have an intro and an outro and the music and the this and the, the guests and the that. That is not what this is. This is literally one minute of you speaking every single day. So what does that look like? It's one episode a day. You're going to do a short introduction. Mine is, hey, this is the Digital Marketing Morsel. And then I talk. Today, we're talking about the power of Alexa marketing. You, and then I will say, you guys need to get on Alexa. You need to totally do this, and you need blah, blah, blah. I like, explain it, right? And then you do a call to action. If you want to know more, please go and attend my webinar replay at smartspeakerwebinar.com. We'll see you tomorrow. One call to action. That is potent mini marketing. Now, your call to action can be different every single day. Since this is uploaded and it is played every single day, every single day you're assigning an Alexa flash briefing. If you're doing a webinar, if you're having a sale, if you want people to do something one day and do something else another day, all of this is, this is a way of communicating to your clients with your voice whatever message you want to tell them. And it's amazing. So potent mini marketing that's your formula. Do you guys have it in you to do one minute segments of that? It couldn't be easier. All right, brace yourself. Leads are coming. Now, we don't now don't leave the webinar when I actually admit this. We actually don't watch Game of Thrones. Ah, don't leave. We're in the middle of Better Call Saul right now. It is on our list. I do run a million dollar company and I have three children under 8. Sorry, it's on our list definitely on our list. Don't leave the webinar. But I can literally hear him say, brace yourself, leads are coming. I don't even know who the character is, but I still included a meme of him because I think it's awesome. So what are the results? Of course, yeah, Lindsay, that sounds good. No like and trust. Yeah, I'm sure they will really like my voice. But what, like, what does it really look like? So if you, uh, one of my members of my Traffic and Leads membership program, which is trafficandleadsmembership.com. I know, I'm always plugging. If you guys know anything about me, I always plug everything. So if you guys are struggling with digital marketing and you want a done with you program for only $97 a month where you get access to me and my team and an amazing group and challenges and I tell you exactly what to do with digital marketing, then you're going to go to trafficandleadsmembership.com and get signed up. But my wonderful member, Trudy, sells essential oils. So this works across all types of companies. We have coaches. We have direct sales. Trudy is in direct sales. We have health and fitness. We have e-commerce people. I have attorneys. Like all of these people are doing a flash briefing. But let's, let's listen in to what Trudy has to say about it. She said, she emailed me this. I have a new follower on Facebook my Facebook business page, who messaged me and said she was listening to my daily minute and loving the tips. I can't believe how effective this is with no promotion. Trudy hasn't even mentioned this to her list. Nothing. This woman went out to the Alexa Flash or the Alexa app. I keep calling it that. The Alexa app. She typed in essential oils. She's now subscribed. And here's Trudy every single day. So what happens when Trudy has some extra you know, peppermint oil on hand and she wants to have a flash sale, she announces that in her flash briefing and everyone flocks to her website and she's able to sell it. This is directly communicating with your potential customers. I know, I get excited. I'm sorry, forgive me. Here's another example. Mark Mawiney, he is a coach, a uh, business coach. He runs the Natural Born Coaches podcast. He's also the coaching jungle in Facebook. He sent this to his list. He said, about a month ago, I launched my Alexa flash briefing, the Mark Mawiney Minute, 
And the results have been pretty cool. I'm getting hundreds of downloads a day for it. My goal is 1,000 a day by next month, and it's growing my email list as well. You can listen to Mark's at mmminute.com if you guys want. But, yeah. I mean, do I have to explain this any more than what the power of this is? Hundreds of downloads. Hundreds. Remember what Dwight said? Hundreds of people are hearing Mark's daily minute every single day. Of course they will become his client when they are ready to become his client. Of course they will view him as the coach's coach. It's amazing. So go check it out at mmminute.com. Another example, my personal trainer, Jeff. He says this. He has daily fit with Jeff. He says, wow, who would have thought in March that I would be having over 10,000 downloads so far on my Alexa Amazon Alexa briefing show daily fit. If you guys haven't checked it out yet and want one to two minute daily fit tip each morning for uh, know someone who does want it, please share this link. Then he shares a picture of 11,533 freaking downloads. That is a lot of downloads. And that is a lot of people who now view Jeff as the personal, the online personal trader extraordinaire that he is. So for many, many of my clients are also podcasters. And honestly, if they were able to get 11,533 downloads over, uh, let's see, a month or two, they would be hugging and kissing me and paying me a whole lot more money. Podcasting's way oversaturated. So I uh, told them about this and they're all on it now. I guess I will be getting paid more, but you guys know what I mean. This is potent stuff. So what do you need to have to create an Alexa flash briefing? You need a high quality microphone or you can also use your phone. I'm not telling you to go out and buy a Blue Yeti like is pictured here. I'm just saying don't use your computer speaker because um, one of the requirements to upload your flash briefing to Alexa is that your content audio is at a good sound level because they don't want the uh, Alexa flash briefings, one to be really, really quiet and one to be really, really loud because the consistency of the sound would bother people. So it's really important that it's high quality. Plus, you guys want to come across as a high quality brand anyway. So it's important that you have a high, you know, that it's high quality. Um, you need an audio recorder. If you are, you can absolutely record these on your iPhone or your Android. I have two pieces of software here. The iPhone is the Voice Recorder Pro, and the Android is the Easy Voice Recorder. And essentially, you just get those out and you create these one-minute audios. Now, here's a little secret that I learned right back when I started podcasting: is you can kind of tell when people like. Sometimes when a podcast comes on, you can tell that they're really professional and you're like, they must be in a sound booth. Well, if you guys want a trick to learn how to sound like you're in a sound booth, get your phone out, walk up to your closet. This is how I record my podcast and my Alexa flash briefings. Walk into your closet, shut the door, go next to your clothes and record. Those clothes will actually absorb all of the sound around and you'll sound like you're in a sound booth and you don't even have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. So that's my little tip for recording flash briefings. You need media hosting, which I want to get into in just one second. You need high quality content. You need podcast art. You need uploading and scheduling. Now, this is the part of the pod or this is the part of the training where I'm trying to overwhelm you. If you guys have been to trainings before, then the host will give you a bunch of really great information. I'm giving you all my secrets because that's what I do. The host will give you all of this really great information and then they will tell you how to do it and they will try to overwhelm you. I'm not really trying to overwhelm you because I have an answer to all of this at the end where all you have to do is send me your briefings. That is it. And we do absolutely everything else. But for those of you who want to do it yourself, I will go ahead and give you all of the information right now. You need high quality content. You need podcasting art. You need uploading. You need scheduling. Here's the problem is Alexa accepts RSS feeds. Yay! For anybody who knows what an RSS feed. Mm, I don't oh, know that one. Shoot. Are you kidding me? I hit the wrong button. I'm very serious. Oh, shoot. except when I'm telling jokes. Okay. Now Alexa is mocking me, but that's okay. I'm cool with that. It's fine. 
So here's the thing with the RSS feed that apparently Alexa doesn't know, which is actually kind of my point. She doesn't know. So you use, like, let's say you're on Libsyn or any of these other podcast hosting websites, and you have this RSS feed, and you're like, great, I'll just feed that up to Alexa. Yeah, not that easy. Alexa actually requires a bit of a different format, and if you upload that RSS feed from any of those podcast sites, it'll play your first five episodes, like back to back to back to back, which actually decreases the entire potency of the Alexa flash briefing, because really, we just want people to be hearing you for one minute, just one minute, because here's the thing, if you have, uh, like, let's say you have an episode that people have already heard, and they're super boring, they're going to stick through one minute to see what you have to offer tomorrow. Unlike a podcast where if you have a boring podcast or a topic that someone's not interested, they're not going to listen to it, right? They're going to like unsubscribe and you're not going to be part of their lives. So that's the beauty of it. But here, I mean, yeah, that's a problem. The problem is right now, unless you have a programmer to uh, pro ba help you batch process and create this JSON file. Yeah, this is where things get really overwhelming, right? This is where you're like, oh, screw that. I'm not going to do that. Remember, I have an answer for you at the end of the slide. Uh, you have to program it in order to allow it to feed one a day. Uh, you can't just use the RSS feed. Uh, and if you don't want to use a JSON file and RSS feed this and that, one, two, three, then you have to go out to your Alexa, the Alexa website every single morning and upload it. But that's not what I promised. What I promised here today is that you can record them all in two hours a month and upload it and forget it, like Dwight said at the beginning. So what's a, what's a, what's a small business owner to do? Um, well, I'll tell you in the next few slides. Approval process, remember I already talked about this a bit, has to be high quality, your volume control has to be consistent, and yes, record it in the closet. Make sure you take me up on that tip so you sound as professional and amazing as possible. But essentially, you're going to upload a few episodes to Amazon, and they're going to take a few days to listen in and make sure it meets high quality, to make sure your volume control is. So it can be kind of a pain in the neck, which is another reason why you need me. Welcome, Smart Speaker Hub. Boy, I could really make this slide a whole lot more exciting, right? Like like it needs fireworks and stuff like that. So I created a smart speaker hub where you guys can go out and you can upload all of your Alexa flash briefings. And you can see here that you can play them and you can assign them different days and you can put the title in. And this is where you're going to set it and forget it all within smart speaker hub. Now we're right now we feed to the Alexa very soon. I hope my programmer's not listening, is not going to get mad at me. Very soon, we will be feeding to the, um, the Google Home. And we are looking into the possibility. I got yelled at the last time that I said this. We are looking into the possibility of going to the iPhone or the, uh, the Apple version. And also, Facebook's version is not out. The Facebook portal is not out yet. But when that comes out, we will also look at feeding into that and whatever those have to offer. So, so. That's one more reason why you need to get with us is that from one place, you're going to make sure you're reaching as many smart speakers as absolutely possible. The other thing that happens with this software is we email you, hey, you're running out of episodes. You really need to upload another one. We have a lot of really cool features in this software, which is why you guys need the software. Now, we will also be hosting all of your media files because you do need to host a media file and we'll help you with all of that. That's Smart Speaker Hub. Now, for those of you who have been in uh, software development, you know that we have to beta test. So that's why I created this webinar and I'm now accepting 20 new people to be on Smart Speaker Hub. I ran this two weeks ago, got my 20 people. We're ready for 20 more for just a smidge more testing and then we're gonna open it up to the public. But I want to tell you a little bit more about results before I tell you how easy it is for you to get signed up with a Google Alexa flash briefing and all you owe me is the recordings and we will do everything else. We'll make sound control. We will make all your podcasts are everything. But hold on. Let's look at some more results. So a gentleman named a gentleman, you can go and find his website at alexaguy.com. He did a webinar very similar to mine. Obviously, he loves Alexa. So during that webinar, 
he had an example of a guy that was actually interviewed on the Traffic and Leads podcast. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan um, of Aaron Walker. He runs the Interview Valet, where he basically connects podcasters and people who want to be on podcasts. So Aaron Walker, very amazing. Uh, this is a slide from the Alexa Guys uh, webinar. He, without any marketing, he repurposed his existing content, probably his podcast. He is the founder of the ISI Mastermind. He has 10,000 downloads in his first month. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get those kinds of amazing results, but you could, actually. I'm saying, look what Aaron Walker did. It's freaking amazing. Now, let me bring up Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Don't hop off this webinar because I just so happen to be recording this before Halloween, and I know many of you get worked up when people mention Christmas before Halloween, but I have to. Why? Because look at the stat. Got to move my thing. Amazon sold 20 million Alexa devices in 2017, up from only 4 million in 2016. So they went from 4 million in one year, 20 million the next year. What do you guys think that means for 2018? So let me paint a picture for you. Let me paint a picture for you. Everyone on Christmas morning wakes up. Oh, shoot. Now my smartwatch is going off. Oh, my gosh. Seriously? Okay. It's Christmas morning. I got smart I got smart devices all over the place. So it's Christmas morning and grandpa's asleep on the couch and dad's making dinner. Yeah, at my house, that's what happens. He's putting the turkey in and I just got and the kids are playing with their new toys and I am free and I'm relaxed and I just got a brand new Alexa device for Christmas. So I open it up. I'm reading the directions and it says download the Alexa app. So I go ahead and download it. And now what? I'm there and I'm like, oh, I wonder what kind of content I can set up on this bad boy. And so I search for health and wellness, maybe a little because I'm doing the keto. I'm a big ketoer. So I look up some keto tips, um, some digital marketing tips, and I enable all of those on the Alexa, on the Alexa app so that the next time I'm getting ready, I can ask her to play me the news and play me all that great content that I just found. Why does that matter to you? Because, folks, Christmas time is coming. And you need to get on this Alexa thing, and you need to record these episodes, and you need to be the person that's out there for the content that these millions of people will be looking for on Christmas Day. Do not wait, because so many more people are going to be listening to this at Christmas. And it's time. You guys have got to get a running start and make this happen. So let's get started. You and I, we are going to have a relationship here. I can't make this any easier for you because I know I went through so much during this training. So I have created a package so that I can help people get onto that new software, my smartspeakerhub.com, okay? And this is what I'm going to offer. And I'm only going to offer it at $750 for the next 20 people. Okay, so I highly recommend you go to smartspeakerwebinar.com slash go. Look at what you get. I will set up your Alexa flash briefing. There's a bunch of crap that has to happen over on the Alexa website that you guys don't want to deal with because it's just going to take so much time and you're going to be searching Google and trying to figure out this or that. Okay, number two, flash briefing optimization. Very similar to SEO optimization. When people type in specific keywords or... We want your, pot, your Alexa flash briefing to show up for all of these things. And so you have to go in and you have to do that within the Alexa website. Next, you get a 20-minute quick start consulting call. Many of you are like, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what the name should be. I don't know. I'm not a marketer. You are. Well, guess what? I will lend you my marketing ear and you and I will sit down for 20 minutes and you'll have a quick start consulting call and I will get you so freaking pumped about this Alexa flash briefing. I will give you the answers you are looking for. In fact, just last week I did 14 of these calls and everyone was so excited and now you have 14 more competitors um, on the Alexa. So you need to really get on this. But we were able to figure out some very amazing flash briefings. I have the other six coming in next week. I can only do 14 calls in one week. Um, audio review and feedback. You can send me two or three of your Alexa briefs. I will listen to them, tell you where you should improve, 
uh, what I think of your call to action, what I think of your sound level. Uh, we will audio review and give you feedback on a few episodes so that you don't record like 30 episodes and, you know, and then I turn around and be like, yeah, those aren't going to work or those were ineffective or those were too long or whatever. Next, an e-course, how to market your smart speaker marketing. So, of course, you heard the stories of people just finding you, but I also want you to really uh, market this so you can get even more subscribers. So I have an e-course that I'm creating that I will give you. I plan on selling it for 500 bucks. That's included. Um, custom smart speaker artwork. We talked about having a nice piece of artwork in the two different sizes. We will do that for you. You can send me your, your branding and your logo and your colors and your fonts. If you don't have any of those, we can help you with that. Um, and we will create custom smart speaker artwork that matches your current branding. I know, the list goes on, it's crazy. <laughs> Social media and website images, because back to what I was saying about how to market your smart, smart speaker marketing, I want you to shout this to the world to get people to subscribe to your Alexa flash briefing, and imagine how silly you're gonna feel when, when you start seeing people do this on Facebook and you didn't hop on this, because you're gonna start seeing them because this webinar is super hot. Okay, so social media and website images. So we're going to create an image for your website that says sign up for my Alexa flash briefing with, you know, a little bit of uh, instruction. And we're also going to give you social media images so it'll be easy for you to share and get people to sign up. And finally, and probably most importantly, and where the, the whole reason I'm even doing this webinar is you'll get 12 months of media hosting and scheduling. So that's included. You basically get access to smartspeakerhub.com all 12 months, uh, media hosting and scheduling. Remember the RSS feed thing, it just don't work. So whatever you're using for podcasting, you're going to have to find a program or you're going to do a workaround. It's not going to be as easy as mine. It's not going to notify you when you're out of episodes. All of these things, that's why you want to get on Smart Speaker Hub today. Now, that's a total value of $16.64, and I'm not even kidding when I say that. I'm going to give it to you today for $750, but only for the next 20 people that sign up. The last time I did this, I did it for $5.99. It will never be $5.99 again. Now it's $750. Who knows what it will be next time? Of course, you can just sign up to smart, uh, uh, smartspeakerhub.com, which is $20 a month. You can't go there right now because we're still in beta, and you guys need this. So... You need it. You should buy it today, even if you don't know what you're going to do your Alexa briefing on, even though you don't know if you're just out of ideas and you're just knowing you want to do it, but you're overwhelmed. That's what the 20-minute quick start consulting call is. If you invest today, $750, we will get you up and going by Christmas. Not only will I, because I'm really good at kicking people in the tushy to get them to do their digital marketing, but the fact that you've invested $750 into this will make you do it. So many times we just need another reason to finally get stuff done. So that's why you should go to smartspeakerwebinar.com slash go and get signed up for $750 today. All you owe me, folks, is an audio, some audio recordings, which I will review and give you feedback on. That's it. Um, I will need access to your Amazon account, but I can get developer access and I will walk you through that. But that is literally your only homework. I do everything else. My company does everything else for an entire year. All you're in charge of is audio recordings. Now, let me bring up a little something else that you should consider. Content marketing is a long game, and it's something you should always be putting out there. And sometimes we struggle with, I don't know what to put on Instagram. I don't know what to put on Facebook. I don't know what to do. Guess what? If you do 31-minute briefings of audio recordings, your social media marketing, your content marketing, your blogging even, is done. This is the starting point. This is the apex. I can tell you more about what that looks like, but if you can create these little mini recordings, you guys are golden. You're golden for all of your digital marketing, and it should absolutely start right here. All right. There you go. Um, I'm going to look over here and say hello to a couple of people and see if you guys have any questions. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask them. Hey, Glenn, glad you can make it. Jim, what's up? Hey, Dorsey, how are you guys doing? Meg, oh, yeah, Ian, what's up? Okay. <laughs> 
if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, go to smartspeakerwebinar.com slash go and get signed up. And that's it. We will be golden by Christmas. So thank you very much for joining me on this Saturday afternoon. And I will see you guys on the inside.